Hey, welcome back to Bros Who Know Stuff. This is my Jeep and this is the uh, camper that I have on top of it. And tonight we're in Colorado. We're at 7,000 feet and the current humidity is 25%. And in the sun, we're probably about 58 degrees. Um, it's gonna be a little low tonight. Um, it's going to go down to probably 20 degrees. I'm going to test out a new idea that I came up with my, myself and my brother-in-law. And what we do is we put a emergency blanket on the bottom floor of the eye camper with the silver lining facing up. And that's going to take the heat that's coming off my body and actually keep me warmer tonight. So this is what I'm doing tonight. Um, I'm taking this emergency blanket that has a silver liner, this right here, and I'm facing this up, and then the opposite side goes down on this, basically a fiberglass bottom for the eye camper. So I'm feeling this right now with my hand, and that's pretty cool right now. We're at 7,000 feet. It's probably 48 degrees up here uh, on the foothills. And if I put my hand on this, I don't feel that coolness. In fact, I don't feel cold at all right now. So one thing you can do also is you can take the extra edge that you have on your emergency blanket and just, you know, raise it up on the edges all the way around, which I've done, and all the way up there at the head. So the emergency blanket that I have, it fits all the way around on the bottom shell. And it is a perfect fit. I, I, I lucked out. I didn't even measure it. I just like, you know, went and got the emergency shell and laid it in there and put it in. So at present time, it's about two o'clock. Uh, we got a wind coming through. And as you can see, when you have the eye camper, you have these little brackets here that you put up on the, the, the poles. So that little little bracket that you see right there that's a strut bracket and you pop that on so um if the wind gets really strong it's not going to collapse the shell on top of you and the same thing over here you have one over there too that i popped on so i have this sleeping bag here this is a uh, north face and i believe it's the snowshoe it's a minus 18 degrees celsius capability and um, I'll slip in that tonight. And then I just found this mattress. I've got like a dozen of these different types of, you know, uh, mattresses to sleep on and stuff like that. This is, uh, I don't know what the brand is. Let me see here. Hold on. Hold on a second. I'll get it. I'll get it. It's the Alpha, Alpha Bean. Yeah. So... Being an alpha, this is the alpha being. No, I'm not an alpha, I'm just kidding. So anyway, this is uh, this is what it's gonna be tonight. We'll test this out. And tonight what I'll do is I'll close the window on the right and also I'll close the window on the left over here. And one thing I'll try to do is um, we'll try to leave the uh, sun room open, but as you can see, you get some pretty good sight you know out through those windows it's not exactly clear um but you can see out and i've had this eye camper for two years and there's the view there's some mountains and with some snow that's my roam case right outside and uh, what we'll do here is we'll back out a little bit and coming down the steps This is this is my home when I'm on the road. So you got the eye camper, you got a room case up there, and then I have some Max Tracks. That's a Wee Boost in case I ever need it. And uh, I've got a winch on the front, um, a worn winch. And uh, so let's. Uh, I'll get back with you later on tonight and give you an update. 